All right, no budget audience. Are you doing some interviews and you want to try to come up with some ways maybe to make them a little more interesting or visually engaging? Often when doing interviews, we find that we're just sitting across from somebody talking and videoing that conversation. But there are little tips and tricks that you can do to make that a bit more uh, engaging to the watching audience. So I'm going to take an interview that we recently did and see if we can't cut it down as well as make it a bit more interesting. With us, we use two cameras. Most documentary style shoots go uh, over the shoulder, over the shoulder, or if there's two cameras, or if there's just one camera focusing on the interviewee. Ours are a little different where we have camera one over here and camera two over here. Camera one uh, being the one that's focused on the interviewee with camera two being on the wider view. One of the key things with editing a interview and that often gets lost is you really want to ask yourself what the key point is that you're trying to make with this interview. For this particular one, it's because he is a documentarian filmmaker and he has a lot of experience doing interviews with other people. So we wanted to get that information out on making documentaries, on doing interviews, that kind of stuff. And I think this is a problem that a lot of filmmakers and documentary makers make is they think they need to include everything. It's like, we've shot this footage, well, we don't want it to go to waste, so let's include it. Budget I'm just going to kind of apply it in. Today with Paul Harney Obviously, the intro That's that is a necessary item. He is a producer of the show Wicklow County Matters. Uh, this is where we would have those pop-ups. Now, what would be nice here is if we had put some rollovers or cutaways. Since I mentioned that he had worked on these document on this documentary, why don't we find a cutaway or something like that and throw that in here. When we're doing interviews, we'll ask the um, interviewee to send us a clip or a promo of whatever it is we're talking about. Okay, we'll drag these onto the timeline and watch how this works. Uh, the Hat Show for Irish TV and he made a fantastic documentary called Underestimated. We're making it a little bit more visually entertaining here because when you're watching it, it's two people talking. It might be well suited for a podcast because you just need to listen to it, but when it comes to watching it, you want to see something to make it more visually stimulating. So let's keep playing along here and see what we get. Two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what's impressive is if I got your name right, because yeah. usually I mess up everybody's names. So, um, so what we like this about? stuff? Do we really need that kind of like little side conversation? Probably not. I really told you <laughs> like two minutes ago. <laughs> so let's get rid of that. Kind of changing the way we do the interview a little bit. And what I'd really like to Don't need that little bit of me like, oh, this is going to change the way we do the interview. Who cares, right? But I'd really like to So now watch. <laughs> two minutes ago. <laughs> what I'd really like to talk about is... Now it doesn't look really all that great, and the reason being, of course, is because we have that little bump where I now clip, cut it out. So I'm going to take a little bit, a little slice of that, grab that little video clip, cut over to him, take the second piece, back to the both of us. Now watch. A fantastic documentary called. Cutting to the documentary. We know what we're talking wrote it. about. Yeah, I wrote it down. I know. That's I really, told you <laughs> like, two minutes ago. <laughs> What I'd really like to talk about is, since you have so much experience in television... See, and we're going into what's really important here. Let's talk about doing interviews, because okay. you're such an expert at it. You, yeah. you sort of interviewed me, mm -hmm. um, and now it's my turn to return the favor. Okay. As somebody who's... And we talked about his interview with me, right? So why not throw in something with that interview, which I have happen to have. We just need a brief second of it. An expert at it. You, yeah. you sort of interviewed me. And by sort of, I mean he didn't do the interview, he ran the camera, he produced this, but you'll see. An expert at it. You, yeah. you sort of interviewed me, mm -hmm. um, and now it's my turn to return the favor. And so, just a nice little rollover, so we're visually keeping this interesting so to watch. How many people have you, would you say you've interviewed over the years? Uh, 112 shows. He's doing the talking. Let's move this over to him. So we got me asking the question, then we jump into him. Okay. That's a good, mm -hmm. good crowd. Mm -hmm. Me asking the question. Which interviewed over the years? 350, 400. Okay. Maybe more. That's a good, good crowd. I'm going to cut back to me here. When you're 
So again, we don't necessarily need my ums, which I know I'm really bad at. When you're when you're sitting down with somebody, what do you do to kind of loosen them up a little bit? Yeah, to, you have to break the ice. Mm -hmm. It's important. Pause here for just a second. What we're talking about here is Irish TV and Wickle County Mountain. Like we're talking about something that's kind of unrelated to the actual subject at hand, which is doing uh, a good interview. But in terms of the budget, now what I'm doing is cutting all that out and getting it down to what really matters. And another little tip here is if you've got multi-camera, which if you're cutting stuff out, you can then cut from one camera shot to the next in order to make those cut points not so noticeable. What I'm doing here is I've got this cut point that I created, but I actually want to keep it on the two-person wide. So since I have that b-roll from the interview that they did with me, what I can then do is just kind of move it over there a little bit. And so that way, there's no noticeable edit point. Okay, so here we've got this little bit where he's talking about the Dublin Convention Center, right? So we've had kind of a lot of just talking and in essence cutting back and forth between me and him. But let's jump over to uh, Search Engine and we'll look up the Dublin Convention Center. I'm gonna try to find something that's labeled for reuse and see what I've got for a picture. And here we go. So here's the Wikimedia one. So let's download that, add it to there, bring it into my edit. And now I've got like another nice little rollover type thing that I can use. Doesn't necessarily need to be super long. You just mentioned the convention center. Increase the size a little bit, so it's taking up the whole screen. Ended up going over to the convention center in Dublin, interviewing in. Nothing necessary. We you know, don't really need a picture of the Dublin Convention Center, but since he's talking about it, why not show it as well? This is show, not tell, and this is exact same thing that you want to go for when you're editing a video. Working in a fruit and veg shop can obviously go. Talk about somebody working in a fruit and veg shop. So we could potentially try to find some video. Don't need the word video in there. And since we're on uh, YouTube, what you want then is to adjust your filters so that we are looking for something that's available via Creative Commons. I could find something that I like and then potentially contact them and see if I can use the footage, or I can just find something that's available via Creative Commons, which in this case, let's go with this one. Okay, pull my uh, fruit and veg video in, throw it over to the little point where we're talking about that. Again, we don't need the whole thing. Let's just find a little section that I like. Uh, yeah, that works right there. It's kind of pointless to show the video of him talking about the fruit shop without uh, getting to the point. So I waited till he actually mentioned it. Working in the fruit and veg shop can obviously go fruit and veg stuff, but that's fine. You have to stop there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Another nice thing to do, I'm not going to do it here, is even though I'm using this footage and they actually already have their information up here, but um, what I would recommend, put a little courtesy of or, you know, something like that to reference back to where you where you got the footage from. Uh, even if it is available via Creative Commons, I would still recommend doing that. I actually like this to be under five minutes, and starting from that eight and a half to nine minute point, right? So it's still seven and a half, which is way too long. So the next thing that I'm gonna do, and you could potentially even do this in the beginning phase rather than where I'm doing it, is find a question that's potentially not relevant or maybe it is still relevant, but find a question that isn't the most engaging or a, a question and answer that you can cut out, something that you don't necessarily need in order to make this a good interview. He goes into this story about the, the politician. It's an interesting story, but it doesn't necessarily add to the video. And if we're looking to cut time to keep it more engaging, talking about an uninteresting politician isn't probably the most 
interesting thing. So I'm going to cut this out. So that was a nice big cut there. And let's look at the way this flows now. I just won't record this at all. Okay, let's just. We have a cut point, point, right? So we'll switch over to a two shot. This at all. Okay, let's just take it. There's not, there's, forget about Makes time. it less Close noticeable phrase. that way. Let's just sit down again and go back to the tactic one. And get to know them, loosen them up, like go through the answer to the other bit. And then after that shot, right, we'll leave the camera. See, did we really lose anything? No, because we we've got what he's trying to tell us, which is get the person to relax. We, we got the message across without the story about the politician, without the all the extra stuff that he added there. And what do we have this down to now? We're looking at five, six minutes. So we've gone from now nine minutes total to about six. I added a few rollovers, a few cutaways. You could potentially watch this still, and you're not going to lose anything. You still get all the useful information that we, that Paul was giving us without it being too long and boring. And I could continue to kind of edit this down. I'm actually going to stop at this point because I have a feeling this video is getting a bit long. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful to you. I'm going to end it here. I'm not actually going to export this because it's still not completed. I would still be cutting away at this to try to get it down to that five minute mark. But I hope you get the point. I hope it's useful and have a nice day.